So working with our guidance here, we need this darken layer, this, this old school dodge and burn layer, and then we need to soften details with the Gaussian blur of a setting of three with the woman isolated. So pretty simple. Let's make a new layer, shift option command in, click on the new layer icon. Every once in a while, shift option command in will result in um, an alert sound. It just won't work. And in that case, this always works, clicking on a new layer. And we're gonna go ahead and um, uh, fill that shift up. No, you just fill it with 50% gray. Remember, option delete, command delete, and then the edit fill is shift delete, even though it says shift F5. I don't get that. Adobe, what are you even thinking about? That's not a custom keyboard shortcut of mine. That just works with, with uh, all three of those just work in Photoshop. So I don't get what's going on with that. And then we change our blending mode to overlay. So it ignores the 50% gray. And then you notice in this other one, I have colored this darkened forest. You can see models, some areas are darker than others. And I really didn't touch this center part because I'm trying to just darken up the bottom and top. Let's come back over here. And again, depending upon your image, it's just gonna be completely different for you. So get the brush tool. We don't wanna be 100% opacity, somewhere, you know, somewhere down around 30. And 30 is not a magic number, I just pick that. And then um, we want to paint, make sure we're painting with black, uh, full on black, hit the default colors, hit D, and we have black there. And then I wanna make my brush, I'm gonna hold down Control and Option, again, moving it to the right to make it bigger, and up to make it softer. So now we got a fairly big brush that's painting out at somewhere around 30% opacity. And we're gonna paint on this overlay blend mode layer of 50% gray. And wherever we paint, we make it a little darker. And if we keep going over the same place without letting go of the mouse, nothing happens. That's because we're being protected here. So if I wanna make the top darker, I click again and drag and notice how that now gets darker and we can come over here and come down and you know just darkening up this ever so much let me come down here and I'm not going to touch her but I am going to hit these spots in here darken this up and then go ahead and darken up these areas a little too bright down here don't want to pull the eye off and this looks different than the other one that's okay. We're not trying to match it exactly. And none of this is some recipe that you can just count on and do the same thing again and again and again. I don't particularly like that last thing. I'm going to hit Command Z to undo and maybe hit it with just the outside of that. And, you know, that's good enough. And the next thing was our Gaussian blur. Um, come in here a little more. Um, so we're going to Shift, Option, Command, N, E, Convert this to a smart object, you know, right click, convert to smart object. But isn't it so much better just to hit your shortcut and make that happen? I'll help you guys set this up. And then Gaussian Blur. Hey, look, there's Gaussian Blur. Uh, it's under Filter, Blur, Filter, not Select, uh, Blur, and right there. You can see my shortcuts for those other ones as well. And this time, 3.0. That's the blur I set up. But... I made a mistake. I did not mask her. So do I need to undo and go back? No, I just need to paint over her with black. But I'm not gonna pull out my paintbrush. I'm gonna come down here to where she is. Hold down Command, click on this icon, this little preview layer, and I have her selected. Then I can come up to the layer, layer two, but not layer two image. I want the mask selected. See, see the lines? around the active layer. If I click on the mask, watch. And that's how you know what is active, plus the property panel changes. Now, I wanna fill that selection with black. Come on, come on, you remember. Option delete, boom. And now she's filled with black, and if I hit undo, command Z, command Z, you can see this, if I come in full size, you can see the detail change. When I hit Command Z, 
There it is when she's blurred out and see her dress just becomes too blurred. These details are too fine to survive that three pixel Gaussian blur. That's why that mask is on there and it protects her. Then we hit Command D to deselect. Yeah, now we're cooking. Hit Command Zero to get back to full screen. Command S to save this and let's come back with something new.